Well, he's just gonna go down. Oh, maybe he'll get a touchdown. <laughs> he's gonna. He's like, what? Should I stop? Should I go? <laughs> What's up guys, John back with another reaction video and today we are reacting to Illinois versus Iowa. Now, everyone knows Iowa this season is suspect as an Iowa fan. Um, I have to be, you know, I have to agree and be very disappointed that our team is playing like this um, despite our record being 8-2. Now, Illinois is not a pushover team. They, you know, they're able to defeat Minnesota uh, pretty, pretty soundly, as well as Penn State. So uh, they're not a pushover team whatsoever. I'm just concerned whether Iowa can get it together offensively. Defensively, sometimes we crack and we give up big plays. And uh, sometimes we don't, it looks like we don't know what we're doing. So I'm hoping that we can clamp down on Illinois and actually hold them and control the line of scrimmage in this game and uh, not keep it so close as always. So let's get into this reaction. All right, Hawk fans. Uh, another nervous game, another rivalry. Um, I think we've l all learned from this season not to take any game for granted. It's Illinois. They still beat Penn State. Uh, I don't know how they did it. Um, you know, this season's a little bit wacky. You got some not so good teams beating good teams or just good teams not performing or underperforming um, like us. <laughs> so uh, I am very curious to see how close of a game this will be. Um, I hope our defense wakes up and I hope our offense continues to roll from last weekend. Um, you know, we are at home this week, so we should have a, you know, we usually win at home. So, false start. Okay, good. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I still hope that we can get to the Big Ten Championship, um, but that's only if we win out. Um, but if Wisconsin also wins, I don't know what's going to happen, actually. Um, I don't know, you know, if we have the same records, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Let me know um, if, you, if you think you, you know what's going to happen. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, just our defense is not... The pressure is just too slow. Look at that. He's wide open. Guys, what's up with our defense? Look, there's no one covering him. What is number four doing? You got, I don't understand why they're... Come on, it's very simple. You see the guy lined up across from him, you just stand in front of him. All right, so Illinois should not be scoring that easily. That's my point. Let's see how Padilla does. It is promising. We have some really promising wide receivers. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but, um, you know, they're still pretty young. So they are prone to make mistakes. Oh my! This is what I'm talking about. Do you guys, I think you guys all understand my frustration. Like this kind of stuff never happens. But why is it this season we do it at the most crucial times? We're like barely hanging on, you know what I mean? This 8-2 record is just a joke, really. You guys all know that Illinois shouldn't be this difficult to beat. But 
you know, like I said, this year, you never know. Let's go, yes! Maybe we need Charlie Jones to wake us up, finally! <laughs> finally! Come on, we need to wake up. This looks like we're asleep. Nice blocking, man. That was nice blocking. You know, he's not that fast, but, um, you know, he, he can read the re field pretty good, so. Speak up to Charlie Jones, man. Oh, 14 got hurt. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was a good punt. For us, I mean. <laughs> Let's go, Charlie! Wow, imagine if he scored all the points for us. <laughs> we don't need uh, the, the offense, really, then. Nice, okay. Is that Sergeant? Okay. Okay, I like that. Oh, he caught that? Looking good. Oh, Bruce, sorry, yeah. Sergeant was, uh, he... Bruce, did he get it? Yeah, he got it. Okay, Goodson. Oh, he's close. Close. Go Padilla. Let's see if he can run. Ah, he's not that fast, everyone. <laughs> he's a little bit faster, but not that fast. Yeah, he scored. Oh, camera guy got faked out. There we go. Bruce. Bruce is fast. He's good. And he's young, so that's good. <laughs> we do have a really good uh, upside with the receivers in the future, so that's that's great to see. Yeah, we finally woke up. You know, it took a while, but, you know, let's see how our defense does. Good. To be honest, uh, we should dominate this game. Um, it looks like we're, we're imposing our our will on them right now. There we go. Everyone knows we're pretty methodical moving down the field and then sometimes we have a big play, right? So I, I'm curious to see if we can have lots of big plays with Padilla, right? Uh, maybe I'm expecting too much, but I feel like as the number 17th ranked team, like we need to display some of those, you know, skills. Um, and we can't be playing like conservative all the time. You know, I think we have guys that can actually stretch the field. Nope, not going anywhere. Alright, looks like a punting situation. Or a field goal. Alright, okay. All right, so I have not watched Illinois that much this uh, season. And uh, I think the only one I've actually really watched was um, them versus Minnesota and then their uh, game versus Penn State. So I don't really know much about, um, you know, any of their players. So any Illinois fans, let me know. What do you guys think of your season this year? Um, you know, is this what you expected or, you know, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know if you guys um, watch the Penn State game and and, let, and uh, don't make sure make sure to check it out. Okay, um, I did a reaction on that one as well. So any Illinois fans that are watching this game, make sure to check out the Penn State reaction. 
Peters throws this one to the sidelines. It's caught by Washington. So let's just see if Illinois finds a way to go. All right. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a close game. And it's good. He's now two for two from that hey, distance. Illinois is not a pushover team. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just saying in terms of, like, the, the, the talent that we have this year uh, for Iowa, um, we should be able to handle Illinois pretty quickly. But like I said, again, this year's a little bit weird. You know, Penn State had a hard time. Oh, yes! Penn State had a hard time. Oh, number four redeemed himself, finally. Okay, that was a good re redemption there. Uh, I don't, I don't know what he was doing that that touchdown play, but he, you know they shouldn't have done that. But um, finally, you know what I mean. Um, we should be able to score here though, right before the half. Ooh, that was close, but he almost got destroyed. All right, another field goal. He's get, like backing up to see how strong his leg is. Nope. Nope. Does this mean uh, something's gonna happen? Thirty seconds? <gasps> I don't know. Unless uh, they're just showing like a bunch of highlights that don't really matter. <laughs> 25 seconds. Oh. Nope. Well, you, you forced the punt, and with Charlie Jones. All right. I don't know why they showed that. But, um, okay, let's move on to the second half. All right, second half. Here we go. Hey, everyone knows Goodson is, you know, he's always ready to have an explosive play. He usually has one or two every game, so I'm waiting to see uh, when it comes. Uh, it w hopefully it'll come during a critical time. It's good that we're moving the ball pretty well, uh, but we need to throw the ball better. Uh, is it going to be another field goal? Man, he has it hard, man, this game. He's, he's not easy field goals. Our offense is stalling. Like, that's not a good sign, actually. I mean, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be having such a hard time against uh, Illinois here. All right. Two guys got to him. Good. Good to see that. But, again, um, offense needs to be a little bit more explosive. Uh, no, a lot more explosive. And that was the goal, right? That was a team goal. Make sure you force Peters to make plays all day. And, and it's, getting, it's getting chippy. Hey, great job there. Not throwing a flag. Yeah. Padilla loaded one up. And he's got okay. Okay. We did have a couple of drop balls, which is kind of rare. Uh, by especially our tight end, so uh, I'm surprised about that. Oh, was that a holding? No flag, huh? Interesting. In this situation, number one and white. You have to get Isaiah Williams the ball. I don't know how jet sweep, reverse, whatever. Those new helmets are just so weird. I, I don't like them at all. Let me know if you guys like that. Oh, they burned us. Oh, come on, Moss. Okay, there we go. Hey, any Hawk fans, let me know. Were you at the game? What was the, the atmosphere like? I want to hear from you guys. Uh, I missed that atmosphere. I haven't been back in, you know, ever since I, I went to school. Um, there's no reason for me to go back to Iowa um, for, 
pretty much anything except for you know a football game or something like that but um let me know how was the experience like um you know it is illinois it's, you know it's a it's a rivalry game so uh, i'm sure it was uh exciting uh let me know down in the comments below what was your experience i want to hear from you i'm sure everyone else wants to hear from you want to create a, a community online um so we can you know share our experiences together so let me know all right so it looks like um you know this is gonna be a close one another close one and um you know illinois backed up all right good coverage good coverage by moss but i you know it's kind of weird you see uh three guys you know the linebackers just don't know what to do uh, that's just that just concerns me like you know they they either should either put pressure or or drop back and help with the coverage so i you know that concerns me a little bit with you know people not knowing what what they're supposed to do oh. <laughs> he was lucky number four with that one belted Man, this game, he's just, uh, he got turned around. He's a linebacker, safety hybrid. He stops the run, and as you can see, he plays the pass very well. All right, let's see here what he does. Uh, still good. Good field position. We need a score. Oh, no, he's injured. Looks like an elbow or shoulder. Okay, reverse. Oh, oh, that's a rare player. You guys know that's a rare play for us. So, um, I'm not sure what they're trying to do there. Um, I Padilla is not a runner like that, so I don't know what they were thinking. Oh, interesting. First down. Oh. Very interesting call. Um, you rarely see that in a end around or you know, uh, yeah, an end around pass. So it's very interesting. Oh no! Another field goal. I can feel it already. See, this is what I'm talking about. The offense not being able to do anything. We're going sideways or backwards. We're not going anywhere forward. What's going on now? <laughs> it was too loud. Six is open. Come on. Too late. Too late. Six was open. I know it's harder when you're playing, but, you know, as a QB, you got to recognize that. You know what I mean? Just giving Illinois too many chances. They can still win this game. It's still anyone's game. They're not biting on the... Ugh. They're not biting on the pump fake to stop doing it. But he's done a great job of taking it. And trying to run or eating it, taking a sack. He's still, I know he's still brand new, you know, he's still a newbie at this position. So, that was hard. It's hard to watch, man, when you don't have a commanding quarterback. Brown runs left. He's well short of the first line of Iowa. Sandy, the motion man. Here comes the blitz. Peters to throw it. Pressure is there and it's uh, right the Oh, not caught. Complete. Not caught. Wow. The the wow. Well, that was big, man. Number 82. You got to catch those, bro. <laughs> you cannot be dropping those. But good for us, but I feel bad for Illinois. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if he can get another big one. I feel like we're just gonna run the ball out. This is just so predictable. Oh, 
where the kicker shoot act wants it from a kicking perspective. That, that they are running some very interesting plays for Padilla, so I, I, I'm kind of you know excited to see some some interesting. Um, looks like they're just gonna kick the field goal here. Well, this is so boring, man. You know what I mean? The way we win is just so boring. Too safe. Great day for Caleb Shudak. Standing. Uh, some of the things that have held him back today. Uh, just making some of those Hey, Hawk fans, let me know. You guys agree with me? Just the way we win is just so boring. Look, he's just gonna go down. Oh, maybe he'll get a touchdown. <laughs> he's gonna he's like, what? Should I stop? Should I go? <laughs> I don't know. It makes the the stat sheet look better, but just the way we win is just you know, I'm tired of it. I just want to I want to see if we we can win like dominantly, you know what I mean? I just want to see some action, you know what I mean? Like it's just like oh, okay, we're just going to win by a field goal. Or or 10 points or whatever and then we're just going to run the clock out like it's just not it's not fun to watch. You know, I I understand like why there's not too many like Iowa fans unless you, you know, either live in Iowa or you went to Iowa like me, like it's just you know, look at this. They just let him go, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't know what happened there, but... Oh, I guess he stepped out. Interception? No, ooh, ooh. Uh, What, targeting or whatever? Yeah. Kind of let up on the coverage there. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just boring to watch as a as a, even a hawk fan. I understand like why people just don't give us a chance. It's just not exciting brand of football, you know. And and sometimes you know in 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 the modern game you gotta be exciting. I mean, I understand you want to win football games, but uh, you know that's that. To be honest, that's not enough. You gotta have showmanship. You gotta, you know, you gotta do more stuff to actually recruit players. You know, to be excited about playing. All right, guys, that was a little bit of a longer video, um, but you know, I feel like I hope that I kind of got my point across. Is um, let me know if you guys agree with me that if Iowa wants to recruit, you know, bigger guys, um, you know, bigger brand guys, four star, five star um, recruits. Um, we even have trouble recruiting three stars. So, I mean, um, the brand, branding, you know, that, that has a huge deal. Like, winning is important, of course. That's, like, number one. But number two is also the style of play. Like, do players want to play that kind of system? It's kind of boring, you know what I mean? Like, they want to be able to show off their their, their skills and, and, and be excited about playing, you know what I mean? And... And I feel like that's the problem right now. It's kind of boring um, kind of football, and it's too safe. And, you know, I'm not sure if, if, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but um, let me know down in the comments if you guys agree, disagree. You know, let's have a conversation. Um, again, I want to wish you guys a uh, happy Thanksgiving here from South Korea. I'm not able to to experience the you know the thanksgiving we have back at home as always but i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving um be safe out there and i'll see you guys in the next video Cheers!